Dear students, Assalamu alaikum. Today I am here to present you the next topic with the separation of salt from sand. In which you can see that salt is the soluble substance while the sand is an insoluble substance. Salt will dissolve in water while the sand will not dissolve in water. So this fact can be used to separate these two substances from each other while these two are mixed together in the water. So we are going to proceed step by step starting from step number one. In step number one, first we are going to take a beaker containing small amount of water in it. And then we add sand and salt mixture in it. We will dissolve or stir it or both these things together in the water in which we will find that sand will not dissolve so it will be settled down at the bottom of the beaker while the salt being soluble substance it is completely dissolved in water and form salt solution now move on to the step number two in step number two, what happens that you have to pour all the content of this mixture or solution into an evaporating dish or any other beaker or dish. So here I am taking evaporating dish. Now I have placed over a filter funnel or just over the evaporating dish I have taken a filter funnel in which there is a piece of filter paper is placed now all the content of the beaker will be poured very carefully by using a glass rod you can use glass rod or can you can pour directly into the uh, filter funnel what happened that some of the liquid will be passed through and collecting in the evaporating dish so it means drop by drop this liquid will be poured or collected in the in this dish while there are some substances or some particles which will be left behind as residue over the filter paper and these residues or the particles are of sand particles are of sand while the substance that in liquid form passing through the filter paper or holes of the filter paper is actually present in the di dish or collecting in the dish in the form of filtrate and this filtrate is the clear solution of the salt that is the salt solution salt solution mean that salt plus water now step number three this is the last step of this technique in step number three we will just provide heating to the evaporating dish or the content of the evaporating dish so we heat the clear salt solution here there that is the filtrate so heat the clear salt solution here the water will evaporate and dry salt crystals are left how is it possible that just you have to put the evaporating dish with the content of the filtrate that is the salt solution over the flame of the Bunsen burner so I'm just mentioning here the heating that is heating or heat is provided to the process so heating is done here now after heating what you will observe that the water will be evaporating from the dish in the form of water droplets so this water is not seen to us because these are the gaseous form of the water while the remaining thing which is left at the bottom or along the side of the wall of dish are the solid crystals of the salt so these are the solid crystals of the salt solid crystals of salt which will be left behind so this is the simple technique of evaporation 
and filtration which are now merging together for the separation of two uh, different types of substances one is the salt and sand from each other when they are dissolved in water thank you class